Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with some wild woman hair here that's just been colored and um, a couple of different uh, eye looks. I've been getting some new palettes and I haven't had time to play with them. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video where I get started um, playing with some of the eye looks and seeing what we can do with them. So I did go ahead and start off with the Glow Oil and this is by Supergoop SPF 50. Really good for you. And then I did go ahead and use the House Labs and this is their Triclone Foundation. This one is in Fair Cool 50. So that's what I have on there. As far as blush today, I did go ahead and use a blush from the LYS Holiday Pack for this year. This one's called Higher Standard, or the pack is called Higher Standard, and this one is called Self Love, and it's actually one of their shimmer uh, cheek formulas. So as far as what I have on, and if I could, there we go. Um, so that's what I have on right now. And I'm actually enjoying a whole bunch of the uh, sets that are coming out uh, for the holiday season. Um, I am using the Lumi Bronze. This one is in light. So that's what I have on there. Always a favorite by L'Oreal. And then as far as what I have on the lips, I did go ahead and use the Bottomless. And that's one of the Melted Mattes by uh, Too Faced. Some reason I have it in my brain that I can only use these during the fall uh, leading up to the holiday. I don't think that's right because I really like this formula, uh, the Melted Mattes. And I went ahead and put the Tower 28 Cashew over the top of it. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use ColourPop uh, Super Shocks on the eyes. And the one I have on the outer corner is called Drift. It's really dark purple. And then I went ahead and used a shade from the Princess Collection. It's another Super Shock single. And so that's what I have on as far as um, the eyeshadow today. And it's just, you know, one on the lid and one on the outer corner. And then the Emrite um, Gel Eyeliner in Purple. And this is how it turned out. And so that's the first I look. And I will be back in just a moment with the next one. So hello, back again. And so I went ahead and did a look with the Welcome to Sin City. This is by Essence. It's available actually inside Ulta. I would suggest going ahead and picking it up in Ulta so that you can check it. I ordered mine online and I did have um, two shadows that kind of crumbled on me here, but I really enjoyed using these shadows because they're so pigmented. Um, I did go ahead and use just quite a lot of them. Um, I went ahead and used this one in the outer corner. I used the light blue on the lid, the dark blue in the crease, um, a little bit of the purple on the inner corner, and a little bit of this color up here, which, yeah, just really pretty shimmer there. I don't know if it's showing up here, but it's really red bronzy, a rosy red bronzy color. And I went ahead and used that right up here. Just put a little bit more of that on. And so, yeah, came out to be a very dark, well, actually, now that I add it more, it's a dark look. Um, but I think it's kind of fun this way that it turned out. So there are a lot of pigment in there. And um, this formula is very, very shiny, very pretty. And I would definitely go ahead and recommend this palette for anybody. So um, if you do want to go ahead and play around with some of these colors, they are absolutely gorgeous. In fact, we could put this one right on the inner corner for an inner corner pop. And yeah, that brought it up even a little bit more. So um, yeah, very, very pretty, very fun palette. 
to play with uh, a lot of reds and um, purple um, cranberry in there and um, just a really fun color story to go ahead and play around with so yeah again here's the way that the look turned out and yes I've been messing with it so um, uh, again really fun palette would be really great for holiday parties and that sort of thing and just a fun palette to have around it doesn't cost an arm and a leg and it has some really pretty shimmers in fact it's all shimmers this uh there aren't any mats at all in this palette and um i will be back in a moment with the next look <clears throat> So hi, back with the next look, and um, again, just going ahead and changing the eye looks. I did add a little bit of the uh, Revlon, this is the Daybreak highlighter on, and I think I'm going to actually add a little bit more of that. And yeah, I like a lot of highlighter. So there we go. There's some highlighter there. And as far as what I went ahead and put on the eyes, uh, really light look. Um, it's actually from the ColourPop for Love and Justice palette that just came out. It's available over at Ulta if you want to go ahead and pick it up over there. It's a really pretty palette. And what I did today was I went ahead and started with these two in the crease right there. Um, I did go ahead and use this on the outer corner. And I used a little bit of this on the lid. Then I went ahead and put this shade on the lid. Well, actually, these two shades on the lid. And then this one is actually a glitter. So I went ahead and put that on the brow bone with a little bit of the Emeride, um cream gel eyeliner in purple this the way that it turned out came out as a really light look i was actually expecting it to go a little bit darker but it really didn't um but yeah it would be a very fun um going out on a weekend night kind of look um it does have a lot of glimmer to it and so you will sparkle for <laughs> for a while but um i don't think i mentioned the mascara right now i'm using this um, i think it's a deluxe size of the tartlet by tarte and i'm really enjoying it um i'm not a big one for going ahead and curling my lashes because it never seems to last very long but uh with this one i haven't been curling my lashes but i'm getting a curled effect on it and so i'm really liking it it's also really lengthening my lashes a lot so yeah i'm really enjoying the little sample i have of that one and um Again, I think it's a really pretty look. It's very, very, very sparkly. And this uh, glitter here, um, it's this one right here. And it doesn't look like a lot in the pan. But when you get it up there, it has um, all sorts of gold and um, gold and yellow and pink in there. And it really turns into a really pretty shimmer on the lid. Yeah. Now the camera's even, now the camera's not going to like it at all, but that's okay. A little bit more shimmer, or a little bit more glitter. So there we go. And again, that's the way that the eye turned out. And um, yeah, I'll be back in a second with another one, and I'll see you in just a moment. So I'm back with another eye look, and I um, did go ahead and add in a couple of different things. I mean, it's just fun to play with different, um, as I, I'm just playing around the mask area right now, so I am changing that up every time I do a different look. I did go ahead and use the Incognito um, by Wet n Wild as far as my... Uh, concealer and that's what I'm using for my base and I had been using the LYS so just to let you know on that and um, this time I went ahead and added some of the wet and wild gloss this one's in Libra and so I went ahead and added that in um, so it's a bottomless by Too Faced and uh, this gloss 
so that's what I have on there and the other gloss that you've been seeing is the So Glassy by ColourPop and the Cyberspace so that's the other one that I've been alternating um, for this one the highlighter I went ahead and used the, Oph or the Ofra and this one is Covenant Garden and so that's the highlighter that I went ahead and used on this and then as far as what I did for the eye look I used the ColourPop 1111 palette and with this palette it's supposed to be so well curated that you can actually go ahead and use any of the shadows together and still come out with a cohesive look so I do tend to lean more towards the purples and the roses so I started off with this rose I put this one in the outer corner used uh, the white and yeah there it is um, on the inner corner from the base all the way up to the eyebrow and then on the lid itself I used balanced and balanced is really a pink gold shimmer and it's on my lid with this look it's actually turning up uh, more gold than it is pink and it's yeah it is coming out more gold and then um, on the outer corner or on the on the lid on the outer corner I did go ahead and put the silver out there and um, it's a really pretty nude palette it really is it's a gorgeous palette and um, I can wear a lot of it which I really really appreciate and um, so that's the way that this look came out and I didn't actually go ahead and use any eyeliner on this look so it's actually coming out as you know a cool look definitely but a very light cool look and um, yeah fun palette I would definitely go ahead and recommend it um, and the packaging is just really fun as well so I'll be back with another look in one moment here okay so this is the last look of my cool tone looks um, did go ahead and use the incognito by wet n wild again and I use wet n wild gloss and Libra along with the bottomless um, as far as the Too Faced uh, melted mat with the um, wet n wild these are actually available over at five below or at least I've seen this collection and this is the um, astrolog astral astrology collection and so there's a gloss for every you know uh, astrology sign this one's Libra and I've seen it over at five below I would really recommend um, going ahead and picking them up they just they just go ahead and finish a look off really pretty and they have a lot of really pretty glitter in them as well and then I did go ahead and use the Ofra Covenant Garden again as far as the highlighter that I'm using and as far as the look and again this turned out to be a video of all cool tone looks is I went ahead and used the new mod and this one is by Sigma it's a really pretty palette um, I did go ahead and get the baby one uh, they this is the small sized one and it has two four six seven shadows in it they also have a um, full size one as well and um, I actually got a deal so I was shopping one time and they had a sale with uh, two of these on discount so I picked them both up and the other one that I have is called Enchanted by Sigma and it's pretty cool tone as well so either one of these would go ahead and this one has a it has warmer well actually it really doesn't um, it's pretty cool tone as well this one color right here is actually an orange but the rest of the palette is pretty cool toned so for my cool toned looks um, this is the other one that I went ahead and did and you know what let's go ahead and do some purple eyeliner on it as well so give me one moment here and we'll just get some eyeliner on here in this one um, the modern yeah new new mod uh, tends to be really mauvey and again that's the one that I went ahead and used for this look so 
uh, cool tone all in the moth family and this way that the look actually turned out oh I remember what I was gonna say um it just didn't have enough punch for me so I put a little bit of the Covenant Garden uh, right on the lid to go ahead and make it sparkle a little bit more but you can do that with any highlighter that you have um, if you just finding that your look is just going a little bit darker than you like and um, it's a good trick and again this one is from the new mod and I did go ahead and use uh, these two in the crease so both these matte shades uh, this one actually in the crease this one the rosy one to blend it out right above it and I did go ahead and use this on the lid itself and then I used some of this in the outer corner as well and so oh and then I used this one right under the brow and on the inner corner so it's a really pretty look I think it turned out really great this whole palette I think would really be good for work and doing work looks it runs a little bit darker and it just has a little bit more um it has a lot of oomph it's it just um the colors themselves sort of blend more toward or what I think of when I think of a work look so um yeah I think it's pretty and um, I think that's probably the end of the cool look video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you a little bit. And so have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.